cost, price, and value are terms that coaches and consultants use interchangeably when discussing their offering with a potential client. And that is wrong. Hey, my name is Rishi Patel. I'm the founder of Selling in Alignment, where I work with coaches and consultants to reprice and package their services so they can discover and live their purpose. I am really passionate about making sure that coaches and consultants really get the distinctions between these terminologies. Cost is how much it actually is to make that particular product or service. What are the raw material components that are required to create that service? Now, if you wanna work out cost, you need to look at things like how much does it cost to hire a venue? If, for example, you run events, how much does it cost to hire the venue? How much are the venue staff? How much is the audio visual? How much is the catering? You know, these are all things that contribute to the overall cost of running an event. If your service is a one-to-one, -one, then you need to look at what is the cost of my time, right? So these are all of the ways that you need to understand the terminology cost is used to be able to articulate. Now price on the other hand is the amount that the customer pays for that particular service or product. Now your price as a coach or a consultant generally needs to be two to two and a half times the cost as a minimum. And this is really important to understand. Really, really important to understand. Now when you walk into a retail outlet, let's take an example of Louis Vuitton. You walk into a retail outlet and you wanna buy a belt, a brand new Louis Vuitton belt. They're not, you're not gonna walk in there and see the cost of the product. What you're going to see is the price. The cost of the product is just the raw materials. So for the belt, it will be the leather, the metal buckle. And the cost may be a total of $55. The, va the price of the actual belt, however, may be along the lines of $200, four times the cost. Now the value, which is the final bit of terminology, actually represents the benefit that the product actually gives you. So the value of the Louis Vuitton belt is the added credibility that you get for walking around with a Louis Vuitton belt, which could be perceived to be seen as a higher status symbol. So we have to understand that cost is different from price, is different from value. And value is something that is really difficult to articulate in terms of a pound amount. So generally speaking, when people put down value, i.e. their product is valued at this, but the cost of it, but the price of it is just this, I normally challenge them and say, how did you work that value out? It's very difficult to put a dollar amount or a pound amount on value. So value is the amount of benefit that that product or service gives to someone. In the case of being a coach, if you are providing the value that you provide is the transformation that someone gets to achieve in their life. Now, how do you put that in terms of a dollar value? If, for example, you're a consultant and you're delivering a solution for a business client, the value that you're adding is however much additional revenue that company is gonna get as a result of your piece in the puzzle creating a solution for them, a bespoke solution for them. It's really important you understand what your minimum rate should be as a coach or a consultant. Now I've created a specific calculator that helps you actually work this out. The link is below in the comments and you should check it out. It's going to ask you a series of questions to help you ascertain what should be the minimum price that you put on your services, right? So not the cost, but the price that you put on your services as a minimum in terms of an hourly rate. Now you need to look at that number and calculate how many hours you work in the business. And that should then give you an indication of what your take home actually should be. Now pricing is really important to get right in order to aid the sales process. In fact, a lot of the work can be done, a lot of the heavy lifting can be done in the sales process if the pricing is correct. And I say that because pricing carries a perception. Generally speaking, when you see something that's higher priced, it's considered to be perceived as higher value. Now, an example of this is walking into that Louis Vuitton shop that we mentioned earlier and seeing a belt. Now, there's a perception that that is a high value item because it's highly priced. And the general perception in the public is that this is a higher value status symbol. Now, that works with known brands, but what about unknown brands or smaller brands that are less known, 
like our coaching businesses, for example, or our consulting business. Well, we need to price high because the perceived value of something that's priced high is much higher in the mind of the prospect. When you see something that's priced low, then it looks as though it's not going to provide all of the necessary benefits that I need as a customer in order to be able to want to make a purchase. In fact, in my mind, something is wrong with a product that is priced really low because it may have something missing behind it. So you'd never ever undervalue, underprice your services because what you're doing there is making the sales process so much harder. High value, high end offering with high end pricing is really critical and helpful in the process of actually selling this particular product or service. Talk to me about how you can create your own high value, high product service. Until the next time, keep selling in alignment.